like Frank Lucas. Didn't they tell you that I was savage? Jersey. Previously with Peyton. It was Halloween and I went on a little vacation, but I ain't gonna post it. And my Chevy sit on twenty four. Flats look like flapjack pancakes. You know. Hello. I'm up here looking at the electric Porsche. I don't see any. But I want to test drive the electric Porsche because I didn't know they had an EV Porsche. Assalamualaikum salam. We are here in Dubai, girl. So the swimsuit is from Matt Collection. The kimono is also from Breeze Mahi Resort Collection. And the purse is Coat Gaia. And then I'm wearing my Fendi slides. Yeah. I'm in New York and you're on Long Island. I don't even treat you that good, girl. Why you smiling? Oh my lord! Did I just get out the shower and my window was wide open? Hell. These niggas ain't got no name on them. Wish these hoes stop trying to put claim on them. He come around. Hands down, one of my best solo vacations. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go and check it out and go to Dubai with me. And let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on while we're still in Dubai. Taylor, mama, would you like to be my son, 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 son. No telling what I'm finna be on. Hey, hey, I'm beyond all that fuck shit. Hey, hey, little mama, would you like to be my sunshine? Nigga, touch my game, we gon' turn this shit to Columbine. Ice on my neck, cost me ten times three. Thirty thousand dollars for a nigga to get free. I just hit Rodeo and I spend like ten G's. I just did a show and spent the Okay, first things first, I went to La Villiere and child, I don't know what it is about men from Jerusalem, but first of all, they can sell me some skincare. Every time I buy that expensive skincare that be in those little boots in the middle of the mall, it, it's always from a, a man from Jerusalem. So anyway, I bought this intensive facial peel. This is an exfoliating facial peel. Love the packaging. Love the packaging. And then, um, so what you do is you just put this on your skin, let it sit for like 15 minutes, and then you just rub it in and you literally will rub off all of your first layer of skin. I mean, it's going to take dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and all of it. So after that, right, it basically leaves your pores. It Did he say it leaves your pores open? I don't know. This stuff is dermatologist recommended. And then I went in with the moisturizer, and he recommended this for me and my skin. Because yesterday when I went, ooh, child, I had like five pimples that were just like sitting at a head like, Hey, how you doing? I ain't that cute, but he was like, I want you to use this for your skin. I think that this will really help. And he was so fine. So this was um $300. One thing about me, I'm gonna spend some money on my skin and it still ain't gonna do shit. Then I went over to Ramasat. This is another booth in the middle of the mall with them fine ass men. So all of these are Arabian scents. And I told him that I love the note saffron. I was like, anything with saffron in it, I can almost guarantee you I'm gonna love it. He was like, we have a body mist with saffron. You want to smell? 
it's all about it it literally smells just like oud for greatness like i don't know how much saffron is in oud for greatness but it must be a lot because this is like only saffron and it smells exactly like oud for greatness it smells so good i might put this on today then of course because i broke my camera oh lord i'm already at 99 percent oh i gotta talk then because i broke my camera yesterday on the jet car it i hit a wave and the wave like drenched me when i'm telling you drenched me child, i had to stop in the middle of the ocean to wipe my eyes and the windshield wipers didn't work i'm like hold on now destroyed my camera my camera got soaking wet but that's okay because i actually wanted a new camera anyway i wanted the zv10 but i needed a reason to get it i didn't want to just buy a new vlogging camera and nothing was wrong with my vlogging camera but it's dead mm-hmm we laid her to rest yesterday so anyway i got the sony zv10 and oh my god y'all this was such a good deal it was a bundle so it also came with the sony grip I already have one of these at home, but it came free. You know, hell, I ain't gonna listen. I'm not gonna complain. Then I, it also came with the shotgun microphone. So I have a microphone and a wind casing around it. And then it also came with this case. So I can keep it nice and um, protected. And there's also a 128 gigabyte memory card hey what's this smell so good what is that what am i smelling some smell good baby one thing about dubai they're gonna try to sell you some perfume oh my goodness whatever this is i need to go get it reef perfumes damn this smell good and then if you follow me on instagram you saw me try these bad boys on these are absolutely gorgeous i gotta show them to you i have a pair similar to these already i don't know what it is about javancha but but javancha get me every time this is my fourth pair of javancha shoes I was really, really close to buying the white shark boots that they have, but I didn't get them. I should have got them because it's tax-free over here. So, you know, it's it would be best to buy any designer in Dubai than in the United States because the United States don't add another $300 in tax. But I got these. Look at that. So they're similar to the ones that I have with this heel, but these are all leather. And then the heel is like patent, this patent material. And then you have the sparkly toe. Um, and it's just something about this round toe that just makes my leg look so much more toned. I don't know what it is, but for me, it feel like pointed toe shoes make my legs look skinnier and square toe shoes make my legs look skinnier all right so this is the look for today i'm just getting out and about i'm gonna go to the museum possibly a mosque if one is open because today is sunday and brunch and then to the mall and then we're gonna come back to the room and edit um but what am i wearing so um this curly bob is the same bob i've been wearing all trip is just it got wet so it's now curly it's it's curly hair i guess um and i love it because it's bed head fendi necklace helmet lane sheer shirt i have a skims bodysuit underneath i have two other bodysuits from them as well that i love um they just skims is really good for snatching you like she, she did that i will say that um prada nylon bag wearing it as a crossbody these leather shorts these leather bermuda shorts are from micah's and then i'm just wearing my fendi slides because i want to be comfortable jbw watch and shop link and live bracelet this is a really really cute bracelet ain't that bracelet cute so cute so i'm wondering should i take my um put on some bracelets because we always need protection 
So I'm wondering should I take my um charger because I'm at 91% right now. Well, I'm at 90% right now. I think I should be okay. So friendly, I'm standing here right now, your soul demanding. Tell me what you want from me. Concluding, concentrating on my views and love around her baby. This is an Asian restaurant. I kind of been eating Asian my, the whole time I've been here. Just, yeah, I know what I like. So after this, we're probably gonna go to the Museum of the Future. Let me see how far it is away from here. Cause I really wanna go to that. Cause Dubai is pretty much like the future. Oh, it's not far. It's like eight minutes away. You know what he did tell me, my, my guide, when I went to um, ride the ATVs and do the, uh, what else did I do? I sand surf and rode a camel. Yeah, he said that it wasn't far, so good. That way we'll do good time. I don't think we're gonna be able to make a mosque this trip, but I'll be coming back and we'll do a mosque when we come back. Okay, the food real good, okay? The only thing I don't like, this ain't refrigerated. So you know, when you pour a hot room temperature, when you pour a room temperature soda over ice, it flattens it out. But if you freeze it, I ain't even gonna say freeze it, if you refrigerate it, then pour it over ice, ooh, it's coming like McDonald's. You know how McDonald's be. You know. Real strong. You got a cold in here, boss. Hey. You got a cold in here. Yes. The it's freezing. Yeah. You are for me, boss. Hmm? Yeah, you gave me order. Go Museum of Future. The boss every time gave the order. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Of course. You are the <laughs> boss. Oh, I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, um... Let's see low? Yeah, I just a little bit. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shukra. Yeah, thank you. Did I say it right? Yeah, that's right. Shukra means thanks. Mm-hmm. No, Shukra means thank you. Mm-hmm. Mashkur, thanks. Mashkur. Mashkur. Mashkur, thanks. Shukra, thank you. All right. Same. Same, but yeah. Same. Thank you. Thanks. Mm hmm. As like, thank you, shukran. Thanks, mashkur. Mashkur. Yeah. And if hello. You make a right turn on hello LP. is. Hello. Hello, ask also all people as uh, say hello. But hello. pure Arabic uh, inside the village area, they said good luck. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. Sound like good luck. Good luck mean hello. Okay. But they don't use here. Here the everybody say hello. Okay. Hello all world in the international Arabic any language is hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello is hello. So I'm headed to the Museum of the Future now. I like museums. the museum apparently you have to book three months ahead no three weeks ahead so I wasn't able to go okay, 
so I am a little drowsy I'm sleepy I think I got the itis so <laughs> I'm gonna try to get like 30 minutes of sleep and then I'm gonna wake up and edit today's vlog so it can go live <sighs> I'll see y'all in a little bit Try a whole five hours later So it does not look like a video is going to go up today because I kept snoozing my clock and yeah, I got a pack in here to get ready to go to the airport. Now I cannot sit at my desk and edit a video. It's just not going to happen. This video deserves time and attention when I get home in the morning. This is a 16 hour flight too. I don't know why it's two hours longer than the flight to come here, but it's 16 hours. Um, yeah, this, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna edit on the plane, but knowing Emirates, they Wi-Fi ain't gonna be shit on the wrist cracker, baby. I'm not gonna be able to get it up anytime today. Let's see, right now, let's see what time it is right now. So right now it's 8.17 in Dallas. I'm not going to get home until 9 o'clock in the morning. I just don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I know for a fact that I have four hours of footage. It has to be reviewed and edited. And something was telling me, edit while you vlog. You know what I'm saying? Like, come back to the room, edit that part, da 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 da, -da. I, I ain't do it. So, here we are. With literally no content today. I didn't get to go to Grand Mosque because... They're not open on Sundays. I didn't get to go to the Museum of the Future. Um, I mean, I could go to the mall. Because the mall closed, don't close till midnight. So I could go to the mall. But let me tell you how I would be tempted to buy something. And yesterday... Try how much money I spent in the mall yesterday. da dee da da dee da Da -dee -da -da -dee -da. My heart goes. I did some damage, but I ain't do too bad. <laughs> I'm not ready to go. I want to extend my stay another day. Ah. <sighs> All right, you guys, we are back. This was supposed to be a day in my life in Dubai, but um, nothing really went as planned. Um, the Grand Mosque was closed because it's it's closed to visitors on Sundays. And then I had every intention on going to the Museum of the Future, but you have to book three weeks ahead. And because I'm so spontaneous, of course, I did not do that. I just walked in thinking, hey, let me get a ticket. And she was like, we don't have any tickets to December 6th. So, yeah, um, that was a bust. And I ended up going back to my room. Um, I did extend my stay, but I ended up going back to my room and sleeping the entire day. I had every intention on um, editing and yeah, so I'm just getting back. I'm home now. My flight landed at um, 8.45 this morning. It was a 16-hour flight. Literally, I would not recommend flying Economy Emirates. It's like flying spirit, honestly. All right, so I'm vlogging on my new camera. Can y'all tell the quality difference? I do need to order another lens. I was talking to Aaliyah and she was just recommending me a lens that she has on hers. Um, I'm gonna look around, see what I can find, things like that. But so far so good. I mean, I like the quality. I like the lens, it's cool to me. Um, I'm about to order me some soul food from Wing Bucket. Basically all sides, I want some, I want some fried okra and some baked beans and some collard greens and cornbread yeah yeah i just finished editing a video so that's getting ready to go up the Dubu the dubai vlog is getting ready to go up so i'm just about to chillax um i don't really feel jet lag but 
I do feel my sinuses draining. I won't put it in the air and say that I have a sinus infection just yet. But yesterday before I got on the plane, I did experience like chills. Like I got really cold and I was like, oh no, please God don't let me have COVID. But the odd thing, they don't test you. Like they don't require you to have negative tests anymore flying back. So that was a relief, which I don't think that's what it is. I am going to go get tested um, just to make sure. And I did have on a mask while I was on the plane. But I noticed that like when I look down, my nose just drips like a faucet, which definitely alludes to having um, um, sinus drainage. And it could lead to a possible infection if I don't like nip it in the bud immediately. So I don't have any antibiotics on hand with me like i don't have no z packs or anything like that so right now i'm actually just taking my appetite syrup because it also like helps with rhinositis i don't know if y'all knew that but the antihistamine and it helps with like um sinus issues and things like this so plus it makes you really really hungry so yeah i'm about to order some food relax chill lay down on the couch because my body is still very much hurting from falling off that damn sandboard. Child. Child, I got this heat on. What I put the heat on? I think I put the heat on 78. It's like 45 degrees outside. Very much making me wish I would have stayed a little bit longer. Cause that weather was amazing in Dubai. And then come back, it's raining and it's cold in the, in the 40s. Take me home, take me back. Take me back home, new bye. So Barty said no to um old girl. I kind of knew he was because he would because he's shallow. You have disrespected me. You have insulted me. You have critiqued me, and for what it is worth, you have single-handedly shattered my self-confidence. Not them clapping. Hey guys, what's up? Good afternoon. We are getting ready to get out and get some errands done. I need to go to Target and pick up some more like soap and um, toilet tissue and paper towels and stuff like that. Pray for us that we don't spend over $500 in Target, child, because you know how Target get. But I'm going in there with a one-track mind to get what I need to get and come on out. And I also need to go pick up some packages while we out. We made grab... Um, some lunch because I definitely got my appetite back. I'm so happy about that. Um, what else? And I want to change my hair today. I want to um put in like some new hair and do maybe like a blonde bob, possibly. Oh, get excited! Mm hmm. Um, yeah. So let's get out and about, honey. They say more money, more problems. Well, bring on the problems. Well, bring on the problems. Well, bring on the motherfucking problems. Soldier, 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 soldier. All the pretty girls stand up. All the pretty boys stand up. Pretty boys in the building. Sway. This right here is my sway. Sway. All the girls are on me. Damn. What damage did we do in Target today? We did $113.59. That is good. That is good. I'm proud of myself. Okay, let's check that off. Now we're going to run over to the mall, see what we find. All right, now I'm about to head over to the mall, see what we can find. Buy myself something nice. Do a little window shopping. Maybe a little shop shop. Who knows? Um, and then I need to get some gas. And then we'll head back home. 
Today was a good day, an eventful day, and we're getting things done. That's what's most important. Well, I got feelings for you. Hope you ain't loving the crew. The way you make me feel these days. So y'all know if y'all have been watching my vlogs and keeping up with my vlogs, y'all know that my car was recalled. Um, my new electric BMW was recalled and I had to go and take it back. So they gave me a loaner. Um, the loaner requires gas. So I have to remember to get gas now. So um, I logged on to my Upside app as I was leaving the mall to see what good deals they have going on. And I want to thank Upside for sponsoring this video because it really helps me save money on gas. The whole reason why I got an electric vehicle is so I don't have to pay for gas because gas prices went up. Um, but the Upside app really helps me save money. Plus, they'll tell me um, where exactly gas is cheaper. I'll get cash back as well as points earned um, and also they'll even give me directions to get to the gas station so as I was leaving the mall I was actually going in the opposite direction um, so it giving me directions just told me to turn around and I looked at a few different shells in the area and one thing about Dallas is that your the gas prices fluctuate based on where you live so if you stay in um, a nice neighborhood the gas prices might be higher than other places in Dallas so I noticed as I was getting further downtown that the prices were a little bit higher versus where I am now that's more so in I guess this would be considered um, the Garland area if you will so the gas prices are like a whole dollar difference dollar and some change difference all you have to do is upload your receipt make sure that everything is on the receipt so um i definitely got my receipt printed out here i take a picture of it i upload it make sure that everything that's on the rece receipt is visible per the instructions on the app and then all you have to do is wait two days two business days to get your cash back so you're saving on gas plus you're getting a cash back so to get started all you guys have to do is use my code Payton, download the app, and you will get five dollars or more cash back towards your purchase of ten dollars or more. So, I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Definitely download the app because, it, because it's going to save you money and give you money. You can't beat that. Thanks again to Upside for sponsoring today's video. All right, y'all, I'm in the mood for a burger and a shake, so we're gonna go to Shake Shack. No, I'm not supposed to be eating dairy. This shake probably gonna have me where I can't stand up straight, but I want one, so.
We're eating really fatty foods. Cause I barely ate. I was in Dubai. So I feel like I lost a lot of weight. Thank you. Huh? The food? You like the food? Yeah, it's cool. Why boy flirting with me? Alright, so I ordered a filter baby. Um water filter for my sinks in my bathroom so this is what it looks like pretty neat kind of bulky but whatever we need it we need it for our skin i hope they sent my adapter that i requested because because my um my uh sink is i have a hidden aerator i have to have a specific type of adapter it said I was supposed to test my water but I'm not really sure like how I'm supposed to test it was I supposed to buy the drops to test my water I guess I have to do that later but um yeah we have it here so let me take the air right out Okay, so now I'm gonna know it. So basically, um, the type of faucet I have, I have to have a special adapter. And I clearly emailed them and I left it in my shipping notes to send the small adapter because I have a hidden aerator that's the smallest one. So they have to send a special adapter. They didn't send it. So, because they didn't send it, I can't install, I can't install the filter. So I'm very upset. I just want to wash my face the regular way and brush my teeth with clean water. Like, jeez, this is so annoying. So I woke up with a sore throat this morning. I've really been trying to fight off whatever this is that's trying to like come down on me ever since I got off the plane because it was so many people on that plane um, from Dubai that was coughing and sneezing and then um, while I was on the plane there was a point where after about a few hours my nose just got really dry and it like started like burning and then all of a sudden like i couldn't stop sneezing and i just had like a drip like my sinuses were draining and i had that, that sinus drip and since you know you know how when you like i would feel my my sinuses draining and i would like spit it up or whatever and try this morning I woke up with a sore throat, so I had to like get all of this stuff off of my throat, like all of the cold, and I'm spitting it up, and it's like yellow, it's, it's bad. So I'm like, oh lord, here we go. <clears throat> but I ain't got no fever or nothing, I just feel like, I feel like it's either the weather here, or it could have been a lot of sick people on the plane. I don't know but I just got a package from Ray with skin potion I am so excited because look what he sent me y'all y'all know perfume is my love language for real 
it makes me happy because I was so irritated a minute ago with the whole filters thing. But now that I'm opening this package, look what he sent me, y'all. So this is Tiziana Terenzi's fragrance called Haley. Um, when he was recently here um, for my Joe Malone meet and greet, he was wearing this the whole weekend and I literally could not stop telling him how good he smelled like. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I was smelling real good those days, but when he got in the car or when he came around, I couldn't even smell my perfume anymore. I just smelled him. So he's like, I'll get it for you. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. I'll get it, but he, he sure enough got it. And this packaging, Lord have mercy. Look how big this box is. I can't even tell y'all the price of this because honestly, I did not know about this fragrance. But I have some Tiziana Terenzi's um, scents. I have Rosso Pompeii that I wear all the time. Y'all look this bag, look this packaging. Lord, he's so good to me. He, he makes it really, really difficult. He is such a good friend. He makes it really, really difficult for a man to impress me because it's like, baby, if you're not coming like right in, what are you coming like? So this is the packaging in the bottle. So it looks a lot different from the Tiziana Terenzi bottle that I have. This is, look at this. Amazing. Oh, Lord. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mm. Baby, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Look at it. Y'all. Mmm. Mmm, it smells good and, and like nothing that I have in my collection. I because I'm I'm notorious. I am notorious for smelling something and be like. This smell like Tom Ford. This smell like Bakra. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm notorious for that. They don't smell, this, this literally don't smell like nothing I already have in my collection, which I'm happy about. Is this the new Kama Sutra body oil? Oh my God. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna have to vacuum. So he also sent, and look at this bottle, y'all. He also sent the Revitalizing Body Oil in Kama Sutra. Look at that. That is beautiful, right? And it has like roses in it. So this is the body oil to the infamous Kama Sutra scent. And y'all, this scent smells so good. I absolutely love this fragrance, y'all. It is so good. Like, I have put so many people onto this. Like, dudes, dudes love it. Especially, like, you know what I'm saying? When I tell them to, like, use it in the shower, the body scrub in the shower, they fall in love with it. Especially the rose petals. Honey, you can't go wrong with Kama Sutra. And it mixes well with a lot of scents. I feel like Kama Sutra puts me in the mind of, um... MFK's Oud Satin Mood. It pairs really well with it, but you have to know how to wear Oud Satin Mood because it's like a really potent scent that I really feel like it's only um, good for like in the fall or the winter. I don't think it's a summer scent at all. So he sent me some body scrubs. He sent me Ambrosia. I love Ambrosia in Seven Mile Beach. And then we have a holiday skin ritual. He says, hey, Peyton, I hope you enjoy your 2022 holiday skin ritual. So this one is all of the Kama Sutra scents. So he sent more um, body butter, the body scrub, the body lotion in Kama Sutra, and the body loofah. 
love that for me oh my god thank you so much ray and you guys know that you can always go and shop at skin potion so all you have to do is go to www.shopskinpotion.com i think i have a code it might be patent 10 or patent 15 you can utilize that code to get a little discount and yeah definitely support our paypal because he is so awesome he has the best heart he is literally the sweetest person i have ever met when it comes to just interacting with you all in the comments and meeting you all in person he is the absolute sweetest i have so many fragrances that he has gifted me because he knows that that's my love language and i'm a fragrance girl i'm a fragrance hoe so thank you thank you so much i love this scent i love this packaging mm, i ain't throwing this box away this box coming like a fucking automatic forget shit fuck you talking about so yeah we gotta go and pull up on him you know what i'm saying and see my guy Oh my god, y'all, I was so sad because guess what I did? I forgot to pack my camera charger. The whole setup. The the um, USB connector, the adapter, and the cord that plugs in the wall. So I do have the other cords for like when I do like traveling out of the country, but I don't have my cool i don't have the whole charging set up so i'm like omg what am i gonna do because this battery has to be charged like i don't have any extra batteries yet i haven't ordered any extra batteries and i can't use my batteries from my previous camera so i'm like what the fuck right so i open the little situation um and i look at the adapter and the adapter is the same the the like the the plug-in is the same as my macbook charger so i was like let me let me plug my macbook charger in to see if it works and it works and it charges fast as hell oh my god i'm so happy y'all so if y'all ever get this sony ev10 camera and y'all find yourself in a rut and not able to charge your camera you can plug your macbook charger into the camera and it will charge it fast like the this macbook comes with a fast charger it will charge it fast like my camera is at 100 percent right now and at first it was like at 34 so i'm happy about that because i was looking on best buy and first of all those charges are high as hell and you have to buy them separately like they come a la carte so um the actual um piece that plugs into the wall that's $99 but you have to buy the wall part you have to buy the USB part that plugs into the camera like it's it's a mess so right now I'm on Amazon buying some extra batteries I need to buy a new tripod because sand got in this one so like now it's hard to like extend like ugh. so I'm about to throw this one away Unless one of y'all wanted it. If y'all one of y'all wanted, y'all can have it, y'all. But um, I'm about to order a new tripod, some batteries, and yeah. Child, today been a day, but I talked to Karen and um, I let her know that I was getting ready to come get her, and she just screamed. She was like, "Oh my God, I get to see my mom tomorrow! I'm so happy I get to come home!" So. Yeah, we're going to pick her up in the morning, honey. We got a real early flight. Oh, my God. I got to be at the airport at like 4 o'clock in the morning. So, I might not even go to sleep. The car bone. They going to tell you it's a chill night. Tell you how they rather stay home. Yeah. Jealous assholes. All right, what's up, y'all? We in Best Buy. I'm about to look at some Sony cameras. Some Sony lenses. I'm sorry. Um... I had posted that I bought this camera on Instagram in my story and Aaliyah said she had it as well and she was like if you get you a good lens like the quality is insane I guess like the kit lens gives very much like ZV-1 
she was like if you get you a good lens the quality is insane like it's just gonna turn your videos up i did ask her what specific lens that she had um but i also did some research um the best vlogging lenses for this specific camera and um I think it's similar to the one she has because it's the same price on Amazon. Um, but I did look it up and Best Buy does have um, the one that I read on the article. Cause like it's this guy that reviews like Sony cameras and he's like a camera guru. <clears throat> and he said the lens that I'm actually up here to get is like really good for vlogging. So I guess it's similar to the one that she has, but it's not the exact same one. So I want to look at it, like see if, see if I can attach it to my camera and see what it looks like in hand before I like buy it online. I'm not even going to buy it online. I'm actually going to buy it in store. But as y'all can see, the ZV-10 camera, like I was saying in my previous vlog, is $7.99. And I got like the camera and all the, the grip, the mic. It's a Sony mic um a memory card and a case for 890 in dubai so way better deal than buying it in the u.s plus tax free because honestly the cameras isn't 7.99 but add on tax it's probably what i paid in dubai just for the camera so this is the one that i'm ready to get Shotgun that I also got in my package in Dubai. It's $150. I got it for free in Dubai. All right, what did I get? What did I get? So I got the lens, um, and I also got a external flash because quite as kept y'all probably didn't notice, but. I use my vlogging camera to take a lot of my pictures that are on Instagram. So what I do is I just record myself posing in different angles and then when I get on my computer I will screenshot them. So they're not really pictures, they're screenshots of um, from a video. But I bought a flash so that I can start actually taking pictures with the camera but because now that i have like i'm able to zoom in and i got an external um interchangeable lens i feel like i can get some really quality pictures from this camera now because this camera is in that a category <clears throat> like the a6000s and the a7000s and a7s and stuff like that you can do more with this camera as far as photography is uh concerned so i did buy an external flash and i bought an additional charger and um battery as well because right now i just have the battery that it comes with but yeah getting this camera in dubai saved me so much money so much money i should have got the lens in dubai but i hadn't heard you know any of the camera gurus or vloggers talk about this camera and the lenses so i just feel like the lens that come with it was good it is i mean it's a, it's a good lens i feel like it's giving zv1 quality and that's basically what Aaliyah said too she was like the kit lens gives zv1 quality but once you start playing around with the different lenses you can get different things out of the lens that you use and this specific lens um according to camera gurus is best for vlogging so i definitely want to play with it when i get to the house so do we have time to go to zara because i didn't get to go yesterday let's see what time to go let you drive over in your new whip bring some friends you cool with i'ma bring the cool whip then i want you to strip d u is my new chick so we get our grind on she be grabbing calling me biggie like shine home man i swear she fine home why she always lying on telling me them diamonds when she know they ride she's got a light skin friend look like michael jackson got a dark skin friend look like michael Jackson. I play ready for the world. She was ready for some action. My dog said you ain't no freak, so you have to prove my man wrong. I'ma play this band wrong. So you gon' take your pants off. I'ma play this Gladys night. Me and you gon' get right. Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita, but definitely set this party off right. Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita, but definitely set this party off right. 
This is the new lens. Wow, it's wide. Let's see, can we zoom in? Yup, my zoom in still work. Oh, I love this. Oh, yes, honey, I love this lens. It's wide. Like this, this angle right here, this view, on the kit lens, this would be the view. But because I switched lenses, you get to see like all of my kitchen pretty much in the view. I love that. So y'all hear that noise? That's what I was hearing when I was upstairs in my living alone vlog. That's what I was hearing. The ice maker, it was the ice maker. I think I put that in the comment section of that video. But a lot of y'all was worried like, what was the noise? What was the noise? You need to get a gun. You need to get a gun. That was the noise. It was the ice maker. Once a month that happens to me because I don't really use the ice maker that much. So when I do use it, it started making ice. And it be making ice like weird times of the night. So I'll be upstairs and I'll hear it. And when you upstairs and you hear it, it literally sounds like somebody coming in your house. Like, no cap. It'd be scary. Well, that's not hot. It's bad to microwave stuff in styrofoam. <clears throat> they say the, the styrofoam heated up releases cancer-causing cancer, cancer particles into the food. I know this yet I still do it so like I said I also got a flash an external flash because this camera doesn't come with one so you have to buy it a la carte so I got the Handycam Cybershot A so this is what I'm going to be using for my pictures now and yeah I should be good I, I don't I, I don't need to buy a Sony DSLR now because what I was going to buy for was to do my sit down talk videos like my chit chat get ready with me's and my um, bias remorse episodes. But I finally figured out how to fix that sound on my Canon um, D60 I think that's what it is DSLR. So now I can use it and the sound doesn't sound horrible and yeah I don't have to spend $2,500 on a new camera. Cause why? Cause what? Cause yeah. Cause no. <laughs> Alright, let me show y'all what I got from Zara. I did uh, kind of like an out of world haul. Oh, I got a lot of bomber jackets. So this is the first one that I got. This is in a medium. So this is a chocolate brown bomber jacket. This is so freaking cute. Then I got this black jean one. Oh Lord, I bought this in a smile. So, okay, so the chocolate brown one was $69.90. This one was also $69.90. I got this one in a small. I probably could have got this one in a medium too, but I got it in a smile. Honestly, the smile fits great. I will say like when I'm hugging somebody, it's going to be a little tight. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? But this is good. This is good. 
I can think about a hundred things I could be doing right now and wasting my time with you. So this one is like a puffer vest. Water repellent. I got it in a small medium. This was $49.90. When a nigga pull up on me, tell that nigga bag bag. Alright, what's in the second bag? Girl, listen. Okay. So I was headed out. Baby, I was headed out the store. I was I was going to my car. I was walking to my car. And uh, I saw a girl trying this on as I was walking out. I said, where you get that coat from? She said, it's in the front towards the right. Baby, I went straight to it. Got the last medium. This a rich bitch coat. You hear me? Look at this coat. Baby, this, a, this is a tailored rich bitch coat, okay? I'm feeling like Frank Lucas. I'm feeling like an American gangster. <laughs> Ooh, girl, listen. Stop playing with me in this coat. How much was it? $169.99. Stop playing with me in this coat. You feel me? They also had a similar one like that in a camel color, but it wasn't as long and it didn't come with the belt. Then I saw these leggings and they have that rhinestone so they got this rhinestone detail down the sides <clears throat> they only had smalls larges and extra larges left so i got it in a large because while i do be feeling like i'm very much a small not as all so let's see how these fit these activewear pants are pretty much like skin tight so They fit over these. I know they'll fit good without them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Given I do have on pants underneath, I probably could have got these in a medium, but I plan on gaining 5 or 10 pounds. So, this is perfect. And I have the perfect shoe. Then I got these two tops that are turtlenecks, but they're uh, short sleeved. Love those. Got one in black and another one in white the material is kind of thin so you still have to wear like uh, something underneath like a bra but those were 1990 i felt like they were staple pieces like that i could wear over and over and you really wouldn't notice <clears throat> then i got this skirt these tennis skirts are trending so i got one in leather um they have these two zippers in the front that make it easier to put on especially if you got wide hips and a big booty come on zara i feel like you need to do this for a, a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff is all put these two little zippers right here for the big booty girls for the bbl girls oh wow i could have got this in a smile so we'll go back probably Saturday and exchange that for a small. And then the last piece I got was this hound stew blazer. And it's kind of like a long blazer. I feel like this is gonna be real nice to dress up. I got this in a small. This was 119. I probably could have got it in a medium. I did try the medium on, but I like how the smile looks more tailored to my body. Going to the chapel and we're... So we about to go to Chicago and pick Karen up. She gonna be with me for Thanksgiving. I called her last night and told her I'm coming to get you tomorrow. Ouch. She screamed. She been knew I was coming though, but <clears throat> I hate how I'm trying to make them back to me in the morning. Like wow. 
Just don't even bother kissing me. Y'all remember that episode when Whitley would get up every morning after she married the wine? She would get up every morning and brush her teeth and wash her face and put on some perfume. When I got when I was little and I would watch a different world and I saw that I said that's what I'm gonna do when I get married so I won't have morning breath so baby I will have morning breath with an F I will have morning breath not breath breath Woo. even if you brush your teeth at night you still wake up with like Woo. like God bless I just feel like when I don't wear my retainer uh can tell my teeth are spacing out again. Still waking up with a scratchy throat. No, what's that about? All I know is it's flu season. And um I ain't getting this shit. That's all I know. Alright. What do you want to smell like on the plane? So yesterday I had this um, Royal Sapphire by Thymine. Man, pressure. But this right here. I don't know. It's something about Cabbage Club that just be doing it for people. Zerjoff Cabbage Club. Man, this smells so good. What I want to put on? This right here lasts so long. Alright, so this is what we're wearing today. This is a St. Perry set. I will have a coupon code for you guys to get 10% off in the description box. But this is just so fly. And I also have on some St. Perry socks. And my yellow Air Jordan wands. But we super comfortable on the plane. And it's cold in Chicago too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Y'all gonna see me wear this a lot because, man, it's good quality. It's thick. It's real good quality. And I think I'm wearing a large uh, sweat, sweat top in the large pants. So cute. Like, ooh. Y'all gotta get this. And then it just says St. Perry, St. and Center on the... um the top very much applies because one thing about it baby i don't never pretend to be something that i ain't only god can judge me because y'all really be trying to do his job all the time like please knock it off but yeah coupon code will be sp1 anbx0 for 10 percent off okay let's head to the airport let me get my battery charger for my phone I will say the only words I know that you'll understand. All right, guys, we are here in. Oh, I like how this one sound. We are here in Chicago. We're getting ready to go pick up Karen. Well, she's still in school, so I'm going to go uh, ride around maybe to the mall or something like that and walk around. I ain't going to buy nothing. I ain't going to buy nothing. Lord. I done shop till I drop this month, this this week. So I ain't gonna buy nothing, but um, I need to, you know, kill some time. So we are gonna go to, um, I wanna go to Batters and Berries. But one thing about Batters and Berries that I noticed, like, baby, before I can even leave, I probably might still be working on my play child and I end up having to go to the bathroom. So, uh, I mean, it runs completely through me. So, oh no, I want to. Hey, girl, hey. I want to go to Batters and Berries because I love their food. But try the way it run through my body. I don't know about that. Let me just say, it also pays to be really nice to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already a nice person, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself friendly. But when it comes to like, um, 
people providing me customer service I am friendly um, and I feel like that pays off and it really goes a long way because I just booked an economy rental because I'm only picking Karen up and we coming back to the airport you know what I'm saying so she gets out of school I pick her up at four we getting right back on the road to come back to the airport because I don't let her fly along you know she's a really really pretty girl people are weird I just don't trust it I'm super overprotective you know what I'm saying with like trafficking going on and all that stuff I don't let her fly by herself if you let your child fly by your by their stuff that is fine child we ain't got to talk about it in the comments this is just me this is what I do I don't let Karen fly by herself so I just booked an economy car I get outside and I'm talking to the girl and I'm like, are you staying warm? You know what I'm saying? I'm just being friendly. Not with any like, you know, ulterior motive. And so <clears throat> she was like, anything out here you want? I was like, I can pick whatever I want. She was like, yeah, you can get the Mustang. You can get the Challenger. You can get that, that truck down there. You can get this Malibu. I was like, I can get the Mustang? She was like, yeah, you can get the Mustang. Now, I booked an economy car. Ooh, I hope there go the police right there. I hope I ain't supposed to, not supposed to do a U-turn because I sure just did one. Okay, well, he did one too. Get him. I'm for to go. Yeah, but I'm not thinking that a Mustang is economy, right? She was like, yeah, you can get that. It's, it's a nice one too. And it is. I ain't drove a Mustang in so long. It is. It's real nice. So, um... Yeah, it just pays to be nice to people and be friendly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you brighten a person's day just by telling them that they, they, you know, they look nice, they're pretty, they got a pretty smile, you know. And for me, it's not being fake. Like, if I compliment you, I'm, I really mean it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm notorious for telling people that they smell good. So it just it just goes a long way, you know. It don't hurt you. It don't take nothing from you to be nice to people and and say nice things. You know what I'm saying? Like people are so weird nowadays and so uh, butt hurt on any little thing. Baby, I'll tell a person in a minute. Baby, I can't wait to reap the blessings that you just blocked. Cause God gonna give them all to me. All to me. Next time somebody say something mean to you or negative to you or just like being like completely rude and weirdo that's what you say i can't wait to reap the blessings that you just blocked letting god know i'm waiting on them thank you god for blessing me with the per blessings that this person just blocked thank you god thank you now it's 29 degrees out here it is cold okay hopefully oh look at them huskies Hopefully there ain't no white. Hey, one. It was able to fit me and I ain't have to wait. Hey. Hey, girl. Oh, yeah. Next minute time. Thank you. Okay. A smothered chicken omelet. Oh, we. Yeah, that little hot sauce. Oh. Uh. Oh, looks so good. You pray faster. snowing in Chicago can y'all see it it's snowing it's 28 degrees outside baby get me out of here I can't wait till 4 o'clock home so I can get back on this plane and get back to 50 degrees you know it don't even get this cold in Texas to like February then it still be a little chilly in March around my birthday, so I have to find me somewhere to go to enjoy my birthday festivities where it's hot and I can get in the water. 
I do not recommend Cabo uh, in March. If you a Pisces, I do not recommend Cabo in March. The water still be freezing fucking cold. I said I was gonna go to the mall and walk around and do some window shopping, but as cold as it is, baby, I just wanna find me a nice uh, free parking and relax until No, do I need Botox? And relax until um, Karen get out of school. Okay, this is this is definitely proof that I don't get Botox. Y'all see this shit? Oh no. So like getting facial fillers, I don't recommend. Now getting your lips filled. While fillers do migrate out of your lips as well, like they do throughout the face. I ain't really like against lip fillers, but like cheek fillers, jawline, even though I would love to get a good old snatch on my jawline. I've, I've seen a lot of plastic surgeons saying that it's not good. The the ones that people get like in your, the tropes, is that how you say it? Here, um, in your nose, like any facial fillers that you get, I saw a YouTube video plastic surgeon saying they stopped doing it they don't agree like they used to do it but they stopped um i've only gotten botox here and i've had my lip flipped with botox a couple of times because before i got my teeth done when i smiled you would see more gum than you would see teeth like i had really small teeth because i had a really gummy smile so I got my gums contoured, so now when I smile, my my lip is like sitting right there at the gum line. But prior to, oh honey, it was like hella pink right here. You know what I'm saying? So I've had Botox in my lip to like relax that muscle. So when I smiled before I got my lips done, it would sit, my lip would sit at my gum line. But I haven't gotten that again. So, um... I don't know. I'm I'm kind of contemplating getting Botox here. They say when you when you get Botox in your forehead, you can't frown. I don't shit. I can't frown now as it is. Hell, I really very rarely use these muscles. Oh baby, it is snowing. Do y'all see it? Don't act like you don't see it. It's snowing. Like outside, boys, told the 70 on the strip, I'm ready to die. Here go y'all favorite girl. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> y'all, listen. So, I'm stuck in traffic and I'm riding behind this Toyota truck. I BS you not. Is this the one I was just riding behind? I BS you not, I can smell the man driving it. In the car, in, in my car, I can smell the man driving the car in front of me. He got on Dior Sauvage. I'm like, oh my God, I smell Dior Sauvage. I bet you it's the truck in front of me. The man driving that truck got on Dior Sauvage. You can't tell me he can't, baby. I got a dog nose, listen. I know what I'm talking about. My big girl, all grown up, she could be 18 next year. I can't believe this. It was just yesterday, I was just washing your hair in the sink. I was giving you a bath in the sink. Just it seemed like just yesterday. She used to love bath time, y'all. Karen loved bath time. Anyway, we're headed to the airport. This was just a quick turnaround trip. I just come to pick her up. So we headed to the airport. Um, stuck in traffic, but we still doing good time. So I ain't worried. I gotta stop at the gas station. So hopefully I can get a little coin back from upside. All right, back at the house. Finally, man, it was a long damn day. Flight was delayed. Part of it was because of the snow and the second part was just cause United always with the shit. There's always something going on with their planes. Every time I get on, every time I get on a United flight, there's always something going on with the plane. <clears throat> but this, 
outfit wholeheartedly Chicago approved. Cause it was snowing and in the twenties. Here it's like thirty eight. I think in Chicago it was twenty eight. Too damn cold. And I'm also this close to putting my order in for my EV Porsche. I'm this close. But I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see what BMW says, but still no updates. Jersey!